Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Sanya, and we're here with a short little tour of the greenhouse that we built in a little Asia for the proboscis monkey. Babirusa, the Binturong, and the Malaysian Tapir. And I was actually doubting if I wanted to upload one more video with like the speed build of the glass dome. But since I did most of it on a live stream, I already put that link in the description of the previous videos as well. And I will also put it in this description. I was like, you know what, let me just finish this all off myself and let's do a short little tour as I promised. Uh, so let me just unpause it. When we're standing still, I'm going to unpause it. If we're moving around, I'm going to pause it a little bit because else it's just a little bit too laggy. Like City Zoo is very, very big. I will show that at the end of this video uh, a little bit where this is located to give you guys an idea. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's just move inside. Uh, I did do a little bit of Asian theming on the, on the sides and nothing super spectacular or anything. But let's just go inside right over here. So we have this um, call it an airlock or whatever so people go in here and that is just basically to make sure that like the, the the warmth or the heat from the inside is not able to go outside so that's why we have these double doors and we have this uh this educational screen there is a pathway going down right over here for the proboscis monkey uh, uh gate and um all the billboards that you see in this video are made by myself so you can uh, you can use this information and then just cut out the original picture and then just put your own picture in it in Photoshop and uh, so yeah I <laughs> did replace all the uh, the billboards in this building with my own pictures and also talking about billboards uh, I already spoke about this one but if you have not seen that video yet uh, this is a bamboo billboard in the background you can barely tell. Uh, you can find this one in, in my Discord server. There's a chat room where I will upload all the, uh, basically all the pictures. So also these billboards, I will also put those in Discord as well. So you can all grab them if you want to use them. I don't really mind. So just go ahead. Uh, so yeah, right over here, we have the proboscis monkey habitat. It's actually a little dark at this point. Me and my sunlight. Let's just move a little bit of the sun in here. Uh, so uh, the animations of the proboscis monkey is actually quite decent. I have the feeling that every time we see more updates, uh, the, the the climbing animations are, are better and better. I, I don't know. The proboscis monkey, they look really decent so far. Are they going to do anything? They're going to do huggy huggy, making babies. I'm not really sure. No, that one is going to poop. <laughs> I think it was a coincidence. Uh, but yeah, they have this cave right over here in the background. So the um, the keeper's gate is right here in the back. You can actually not really see it. Let me just move a little bit, a little bit to this side. You can actually not see it from the guest point of view, which is the idea. So right in the back here, there is the gate. And right over here, they have a lot, another privacy area. Uh, to, to chill and relax if they uh, want some more privacy over here. But they have a lot of climbing frames. They can climb up right over here in the back onto some um, some more rocks as well. And I really do love the combination here with the, uh, the temple pieces from the South America pack. I think that definitely looks really great. And it just really works well with the aquatic rocks, the aquatic rock set. Uh, a combination of that, that is really, really nice. And also this little edge here is also uh, being used by the proboscis monkey, which is actually really cool. So if you're standing right over here, uh, you can pr probably see some proboscis monkey um, walking around here or sitting down here sometimes. So that is actually really cool. I do really like that. And of course, the backside is just very tropical and lush with like a lot of the tropical foliage. So then if we move forward right over here, we have our own Babirusa sign. I wanted to say bit wrong. Babirusa sign. <laughs> Look at me and my Photoshop skills. Okay, it's not perfect, but I found it just funny to have its paws on the map. <laughs> so yeah, just I did that. I did that during a live stream. I was having fun. Okay. Uh, so on this side we have the Babirusa habitat, which is actually 
a very pretty habitat for a not so pretty animal. Like, um, we can say a lot about the uh, babirusas in the game. Like, uh, they can be cute, but they're not like pretty cute animals. Let's face it, they're just not really uh, the most beautiful animals of the game. But they're funny. They're funny <laughs> for sure. But yeah, they have this uh, beautiful habitat with a waterfall. And on the left side, there's this cave area. And on the right side, I can show you that in a bit. There is this path going down a little bit towards the uh, keeper's gate uh, of this habitat. And they can obviously also have a nice little swim right over here. And they can also go right in the back all the way uh, to here, I think, if I remember correctly. So they are actually able to use all that space as well as a, more of a privacy area if they want to, of course. Um, so yeah, we move along a little bit further right over here. Then people can also just look into the habitat right over here. And then in the back side, okay, there are a little a few plants sticking up, but we just pretend that's not the case, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, over here, uh, there is the keeper's gate. And uh, I don't know, I don't know why I felt like this is something you sometimes see in a zoo. Like, I don't know, it's not really part of the habitat. It's also not really part of the backstage, but it's an in-between area. And you can still see them walking around here. I don't know, I just really like that. And also I really like the planters and stuff onto these rocks. I think that looks really, really awesome. And then on this side, we have the cute... Uh, Binturong and the Malaysian Tapir. So, oh, there is one climbing right over here. That's really cool. Uh, so the Binturong can really use a lot of uh, climbing frames. Like it's going all the way from here, from this little ladder, all the way to this rock, to that rock. And they can also, uh, <laughs> I love it that it's going to use it right now. Hopefully it's uh, it's going to go to the rubbing pillar. Uh, I think so. Uh, I was hoping that would go to one of these... Uh, a little cabins right over there. Oh, look, a moonwalking binturong. <laughs> Great. Are you going to use that? Because I have not seen the animations of that, to be honest. Are you going to use that? I mean, why else would you walk here? You're not? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, we're, we're having a, a <laughs> feeding. Oh, look. Oh, that is really cool. We have some tapir swimming around. That was exactly why I... Wanted to have this little pool section right over here. And uh, the guests could look into this water section when the tapers would be swimming. And I was actually... Oh, there's the Binturong. I was actually waiting for them to go into the water. And they didn't do that for such a long time. And now they're both into the water. So that is quite cool. I really do like that. Uh, but yeah, the Binturong, as I said, they can like climb from all these, uh, these sides all the way up here. They can go up here. And then all the way to the back side, uh, right to here, and then down this ladder right over there. And then we have this enrichment item for the tapirs. And uh, yeah, this one is definitely more of like a, a habitat you want to discover all these little uh, areas inside of it. I really try to like make this a really adventurous habitat, even though it's not really adventurous. Well, maybe it is for the Binturong, it's very adventurous, but not really for the Tapir. The Tapir can only use like the lower level of the habitat, which is not that much, I admit. Uh, but I think it definitely looks really cool. Oh, oh, it's going to use it. Oh, oh, you are. Oh, we want to see that. Aww. <laughs> That's really cool. So yeah, if you have seen the uh, the speed build video uh, of me talking about the Binturongs in the trailer of the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, uh, they are able to uh, to hang with their tails onto these logs. And uh, yeah, as of right now, I still have not seen any animations of that. But I really tried to um, pay attention to that when I was building this habitat. So I wanted to make sure that these logs are like mostly horizontal as possible they are obviously in an angle but i do hope it's not like too bad for them as whenever these animations are coming back into the game like i don't know they probably need some more work or whatever i really don't know why they're not in the game right now and they are in the trailer that's super odd um but i'm expecting it to come back at least so yeah that's why i wanted to make sure that these logs 
are all mostly horizontal. So I, uh, yeah, I hopefully in the future we can see some binturongs hanging on their tail on one of these logs. I think that would be just super amazing. I really would love that. And then, uh, yeah, well, at the end, all right, over here, we need some toilets, right? Oh, I think, oh no, that one is just glitching out a little bit. <laughs> we just have some toilets. I was really down, like, what am I going to do here? I'm going to use signs and stuff. I'm just really bad at using those signs. And I didn't really have too much space to add two of these big ones. Uh, so yeah, we right now only have two little billboards right over here for the Binturong and for the Malaysian Taper. But then again, I don't think it really matters. Like this is definitely the main feature right over here. And I really just love how everything has turned out. In all honesty, I was so having so much fun with building this whole building. And I actually right now, since it's finished, I'm like, huh, what am I going to do right now? <laughs> I really need some new kind of project to, to really uh, wrap my hands on. I, I just, I don't know yet what it's going to be, uh, but I really, really enjoyed uh, building this greenhouse. Like, as you can tell uh, from the top, let me just show you a little bit. Uh, so it's obviously inspired by this building, but then without the the side wings and those kind of things. Little Asia is definitely still a project where oh, it's going to take a lot of work still. Um, but yeah, like the whole city zoo is definitely in some kind of the, the same style or Little Asia is like the same style. So this building is definitely a little bit different than the rest, but I think it will blend in nicely with like the green and the brown. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, but yeah, like on the outside, I don't really feel like doing these really crazy thematic themes. Like in the South America dome, we look like a really crazy theme as well with the, also the temple pieces and stuff, which is like just amazing to do because you're like inside. So. I actually am thinking to maybe just create another big dome right over here. Like this path is obviously not going to stay. I just wanted to have something leading towards here and just see how we're going to change this. But maybe I should just create another. How do you guys feel about that? Like this dome is just so much fun. We can do so many fun things inside of a building. But on the outside, I just don't really feel like it matches really with the rest of the zoo. So that's why I'm a little bit holding back on that but yeah i'm just really curious what you guys uh, feel about that so do let me know in the comments down below of course and uh I'm, I'm just in general just super curious of course what you guys think of this uh this greenhouse building and uh if you like how it has turned out i really do hope that i uh, can inspire you guys with my builds of course that is still my main goal of the channel so if that is uh working out then my goal my mission is complete i would say <laughs> but yeah i'm just really enjoying these kind of builds and i'm just super curious what what i'm going to do next i'm just i have no idea yet but if you guys have any suggestions or ideas do let me know if you like the idea of like this big dome where we can add more of these asia animals maybe we should just do that so do let me know in the comments down below Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered on the channel. And you may want to consider to become a FaveFam member with the join button of YouTube or via Patreon with the link in the description. And you can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all those other social media pages. And all those links are also in the description down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.